Spring is in the air. There's no better time to test out the Testo 557 digital manifold kit on a rooftop unit. Let's get her done. Now before we get started, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the Testo 557 kit and what it actually includes. This is the hard case you get with the kit. This will keep your tool dry and protected, especially when it's rolling around in the back of your truck. We all know how that can be sometimes. Here we have the manifold itself. Rugged design, weighs about 10 pounds, you can tell it's built with real quality. There on the bottom you see the larger. 3 8 port. Now that's for evacuation and will help you pull a quicker vacuum. It's a great feature to have. Included in the kit, two temperature clamp-on probes. Now these probes are excellent. The spring tension is actually quite impressive. Once that's clamped onto the pipe, that's not going anywhere. And you get two of those. Here you have the externally mounted vacuum probe. You will attach this to your system and plug it into your digital manifold and this way you can read your vacuum in microns as you're evacuating the system. So now that is what you get inside the kit. Let's hook these babies up, give them a test run. So we're almost ready to rock and roll here. Just wanted to show you a couple of things. The manifold itself has a hook attached to the back um, and it actually swivels so that's a, a handy feature to have so you can mount your manifold without having to hold it. Next we have our first temperature probe clamped to the liquid line. Now like I said the spring tension is phenomenal. I'm giving that a good tug and it's not going anywhere. Now that is plugged into the right hand side of the manifold as well as our high side hose on the right hand side of the manifold. We have our other clamp mounted to the suction line and again we have a great hold on that. That is plugged into the left hand side of the manifold as well as our hose to our low side of the system. Now I have the manifold turned on and the first thing you're going to want to do is zero the gauges. And you have to zero them under atmospheric pressure. So I have my hoses cracked on each side. I also have the valve stems turned to the open position. And to zero, we hold the P equals zero button for three seconds. And you can see on the left hand side there, it begins to flash and that's how you zero. So now that the gauges are zeroed you want to make sure that you put your hoses back to the regular position nice and tight and you want to make sure that your valve stems are turned all the way clockwise which turns them to the closed position. The next thing we want to do is choose our refrigerant of choice. Now we're using R22 in this unit today in order to change the refrigerant, I'm at 134A at the moment, we need to hit the R button, the refrigerant flashes, and we scroll through with the up and down arrows until we get to the refrigerant that we're using. So there's R22, we hit the R button again, and now that is entered into our system as the refrigerant of choice that we're using for this system. So our compressor's running, we're rocking and rolling. You can see the pressures here. On the right hand side we have our condenser pressure and directly above it the corresponding liquid line temperature. On the left hand side we have our evaporator pressure and above it the corresponding suction line temperature. And you can see how quickly the gauges respond to the, the changing of the pressures. There's actually a fan cycle control on this unit 
and the fan is cycling to maintain that head pressure. You can see that change right there, how quickly it happens. One last thing I wanted to show you guys on this demo is how you can scroll through your temperature readings. Now we currently have T1 and T2. That is your exact temperature readings at the probe. On the left and the right are reading currently at the moment. Now if we hit the down key on the manifold, we can read our superheat and we can read our subcooling. Down again, there's our delta T. Down again, there's our evaporator and condensing temperatures. Now the really cool part about this is it's all done automatically once you enter the refrigerant that your system is utilizing. It saves you time, it saves you energy. It's a really cool tool to have. It's my demo for today, guys. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day and work safe.